So today I just wanted to show you a little trick that I do in my garage or with my other mini splits. When I wanna run my mini split, and I don't wanna use a lot when I'm starting up in the morning, right now I do have 17 amps coming in, 960 watts, but I'm only using 392 watts right now, no amps running my mini split in my garage and right now it is blowing out 34 degree air so I can stand back here it's like maybe 12, 14 feet away and I can feel that cool air and it'll start cooling down my garage um, really early in the morning without using a lot of watts. But the key is you have to put your remote very close and have it blowing. See, with my remote sitting right here, the air is actually blowing on this part right here. So I have this set at we had that at 70 degrees right now, and it is at 72. So we have it set at 70, well, it says it's 70 now. Okay, so as long as you have it like a foot or two away from it, blowing on the back of this, you can run this blow out nice cold air and really not use a lot. So we're bringing in 18 amps, almost a thousand watts. And like I said, we're only bringing in, we're only using like 404 watts right now. So this normally, when I put it on high, it uses around 22, 2300 watts. So you can actually trick these into doing this it's the same thing over here with my uh, mini split up here. I actually have this set at 81 degrees, but it's blowing out like 35, 40 degree air. But I have my remote sitting right here. And on my remote, it says it's 79 degrees. I just turned this on. So I have this set at 81. And this will actually cool this down over here. Um, it'll show about 75 degrees on my remote. At that time, I take it, I knock my remote down to around 75 degrees and let it run for another 15, 20 minutes and check it. And it should be down to about 70 to 72 degrees. And I just keep lowering it down. And I'm only using like three, four, 500 watts on these instead of the 1200 watts so i can start running these mini splits early in the morning and especially with the lithium iron phosphate batteries we can start it up and start running because we're only going to be using like four or five amps so we can use these these lithium iron phosphate battery banks and um be able to start running it before we even produce any solar once again we're still right around 400 watts and this is 600 square feet in here it's a three-car tandem garage and it feels nice and cool when i walk in here i've been running this for about an hour but i just want to show you that little trick just put your remote somewhere in the stream of that cold air coming and you can blow out some nice cold air and probably use like a, a fourth, a fifth, or a sixth of the watts of running it on high. Now, when I get to the point where this is on a thousand watts, in a little bit, when I get to where I'm putting 2000 watts out and 35 amps, then I can go ahead and switch this all the way on high and use the 22 amps or um, 2200 watts and I can run that and cool this garage down really quick with that. And right now it's nine o'clock in the morning 
and it's beautiful and sunny out. And we've already got that running like that. We used our battery bank overnight over here to run our three and a half ton. We got down to 45%, and you can see we're at um, 113 amp hours and 55, 57% state of charge. So we're climbing back up again, and it's only nine o'clock, so probably between, oh, I'd say 11 and 12, will be fully charged and we'll be able to run um, both our three and a half ton, our four ton, and we could even run the two downstairs mini splits at the same time and still keep charging our batteries and not be using anything out of our batteries by, um, oh God, by oh, well, maybe 10, 30, 11 o'clock, we can start running all four of those at the same time. Anyways, just want to show you that little trick. Please like, share, subscribe. Hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day, and I'll leave links in the description for the products. See you in the next video.